Hey everybody, it's Paul from Cary Estate Planning back with another video as part of our 2020 video challenge. Today, we're continuing on the theme of Quora.com estate planning questions and answers. And today's question is, can a special needs trust be revocable? And the answer is yes, and they often are. Uh, just because it's a special needs trust doesn't mean it has to be irrevocable. And often parents want to maintain the ability to modify the terms of a trust to name different trustees to name different remainder beneficiaries in the event that their intentions change over time. Parents are often setting up third-party special needs trusts well uh, or very early on in the life of a child, uh, especially if they, they have some certainty around the uh, disability and diagnosis of a child. So their intentions and their assets and their, their um, goals can change over time. And so if the trust is irrevocable, then it can't be changed. If the trust is revocable, then it can. And certainly things change as far as regulations and laws and those sort of things as well. So often a revocable third party special needs trust is a great planning tool. A first party special needs trust cannot be revocable. It has to be irrevocable. That's a very different type of trust and it's, it's a lot more rare in its utility because it's used for when somebody has assets of their own that are uh, precluding them from becoming eligible for SSI and Medicaid. Those types of trusts are called D4A trusts and they have to be irrevocable upon creation.